Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> so today we're going to talk about the probably single most important, single most requested, I don't know, most controversial topic in the entire game. And that's bullying. Well, at least to me, it's quite controversial because some people view me as a bully and other people view me as a hero. And I must admit that I'm probably a little bit of A and a little bit of B. Um, now would be a good time for me to tell you this story, part two of Revenge. However, nah, we're going to go ahead and skip that for a little bit. And um, Okay, in fairness, part two is probably going to be um, incorporated into my game. Um, a lot of people have suggested that um, I do something special for it. And um, it's going to be like a little Easter egg hunt where you find the puzzles, puzzle pieces together. You put it together, and then it unlocks a story that you can watch in the game. So that's most likely what I'm going to do for part two. If I never complete my game, well, then I promise in two months I'll release part two for the story of revenge. Okay, back to what we were talking about. So let's start with the most important thing in the entire game. For $3 a week, you can shield 24-7 now. Shielding used to be more expensive. You used to have to buy, like, these... Um, uh, daily delivery junk that's worthless and, um, you know, top it off with a package or, you know, get gold event or something like this. That's what you used to do in order to have enough gold to shield 24-7 for the entire month. <clears throat> and that was more or less the most cost-effective way to shield. However, when they came out with the $3, $3 a week, well, it's it's $1 three times a week, 3,000 gold each time, so 9,000 gold, you know, you can carry over some gold the next week or use it, whatever. Semantics. Anyway, let's just call it $3 a week for simplicity. Um, when they introduced that, um, the cost of shielding went down. So you'll see up here that this is, um, I don't know, what is this, like $20 for, you know, 600 gold. And then, you know, you can use the, um, the 105 gold or whatever it is you get from this each day. <clears throat> so it's, it's like 700 gold you can get each day, relatively inexpensive before. But 700 gold is not 1,000 gold because that's the cost of shielding. So city buffs, shield, 24 hours, 1,000 gold. So obviously you had to make up some gold somewhere. But daily deals, the $1 daily deal, all right, today it's only 200 gold. But on other days of the week, they have 3,000 gold, $1. That effectively made it the most inexpensive way to shield 24-7, blah, blah, blah. Why am I kind of rambling about this? Let's go back to bullying. Um, wait, let me show you something else. No, why am I clicking the wrong place? Okay. So here's a perfect example. Well, we'll, we'll get to cover two things at once. So the first thing is, is that there's two relics on this house. And the reason that there's still two relics on this house is because he shields religiously without any lapse of time, every day, every night, without just, it's just, that's how it is. He just shields. And um, I can't bully him. His power is 148 million on an SH-26. If he ever unshielded for like, I don't know, maybe like a minute, two minutes or something like this, I would zero him out, take the relics, and that would be the end of the story. But I cannot, because in this game, 24 hour, seven day a week, 365 shielding does exist. So I would love to help people, you know, in terms of, um, you know, go to your kingdom, bully the bully, be the anti-bully, be the hero, whatever it is. I would love to go to your kingdom and help you, but unfortunately I can't. Migrations aren't a real thing. They say, they, oh, we've got nine groups migrating. Well, those nine groups are probably dead kingdoms and one Chinese active kingdom, and they're hand-selecting it. <clears throat> so it's not like there's ever going to be any dramatic, you know, story about, you know, 134. Anyway, I digress. The moral of the story is, if you shield, nobody can bully you. If you got a big, big bully sitting parked, you know, alongside your alliance, it doesn't make any difference. Because assuming that you can afford $3 a week, you can 
you know, thumb your nose at them. And uh, they can never touch you. Well, I mean, they can hit your tiles. But for that, you just farm with, like, T1 Cav or T1 Siege or whatever it is you feel comfortable farming with. If they hit it, well, you heal them and you move on. I mean, it's not that expensive to heal two ones. Um, so, yeah, this is my best advice for you. I wish I could help you guys. I, I, would, I would go over every kingdom and just, you know, smack everything that I could. You know, put everybody in line and, and try and get people to play an honorable game. Uh, but this is a toxic game. And toxicity and, and negative spending is really what drives this game. It's not fun. If you ask yourself, is this game fun? Nobody can really give an honest answer that it's fun. I mean, it's just, at least it's not fun for me. I mean, like, I could click on this house and I could click attack and my troops go there and they just take stuff. Uh, I really wouldn't, that's not my definition of fun. I like unique things. I like creativity. Um, <clears throat> I like exploring. I like talking to my friends. So yeah, the game does have the social element to it. But that's really the only thing that carries it. There's not a lot else going on. So I know this is just is just a really stupid, long, rambling video. But people people don't realize it. You know, there's there's not a lot you can do about bullying in this game. They can mess with the stats. They can change PvP. They can do everything this way or that way. But the moment the defense gets too strong, spenders will complain. The moment that spenders have too much power, free players will complain. There's no balance, and it's, it's impossible. And uh, 24 shielding exists in this game, and that's what I just recommend that you do, because I'm um, assuming that you're diligent with it, you know, like these guys, then it'll just last forever. Just shield, enjoy the social time with your friends, and don't worry about things. It's pretty simple. So... That is the most effective way to deal with bullies, period. The other thing that I would suggest is apply a liberal amount of the block and report button. Um, I have blocked and reported basically everybody that is um, abusive, toxic, just just really not a good person in, in my kingdom. Well, when I mean good a person, I mean people who directed negative, negativity towards me. Any bit of negativity, I mean, I can take it. You know, I mean, like, people can talk, you know, poop all day long, and it, it you know, it just rolls off my back. However, it, it's not the most pleasant thing to read. And all you have to do, I'm not going to actually do this, all you have to do is just go block and report, and then you never see them again. And they make a new account, block and report. And you just never, never see them again. And you can just do this over and over and over again. And I can assure you that after a while, they're going to quit making accounts, and this game of cat and mouse will end. So if somebody really wants to harass you, that's how I would deal with it. So there's really only two forms of harassment in the game that, that can happen. They can attack you and they can take your troops, or they can socially harass you. And the block and the report button is, is probably the best way to deal with that. So there you go. This is my best advice for how to deal with bullies. It's really sincere. Um, it's the best I've got for you guys. I mean, anything else is, is way more complicated, and, and I... You, you can't rely on it. You know, I mean, you could rely on making friends and having your friends help help support you, you know, and, and going in battle with that. Um, you know, or you could spend. But um, I really, really, really can't recommend spending in this game. I think after you spent, you're probably, you're going to probably reflect back on it and you're going to think, well, what did I get from it? Okay, I mean, it's a hobby. You know, you probably have some fun times. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, you know, is it entertaining? Could be. But at the end of the day, when you spend on it, it's not going to give you long-term value. Really, whatever you spend, consider it gone in that instant. Whether it's a dollar, five dollars, a hundred dollars, fifty thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, however much you spend, consider it gone in the moment that you spend it. It's gone. Whatever enjoyment you had from it. That's all the enjoyment that you're going to get. There's no future promise in this game. There's no, I spent a lot two weeks ago, and two weeks from now, all that value is going to be there. They're consistently ruining the value of everything and replacing it with old things. Gems get replaced over and over and over again. Banners get upgraded over and over again. New troop tiers, new dragon skills. Everything will eventually always be replaced. There's no 
There's, this game is not an investment. I used to look at this game as an investment. This game is not an investment. They want six to ten thousand dollars every month for max. Some months are even higher than others. Some months are thirty thousand or more for their updates, and they've been consistent with this. People who say, "Oh, I remember when the old days, when the orange equipment before Warmonger, before banners, before new gems, before all this stuff." Well, technically, it's not true because orange equipment. It used to be really expensive. You know, you could basically spend money on the materials and the silver or the silver and the steel, and you could upgrade it. And plus five required 20 scrolls. And if you weren't in an auction house, you know, winning those scrolls or going in there and getting the grade five, you know, chest and opening those in bulk, I'm talking a long time ago, guys, like a year and a half, almost two years ago type stuff. If you weren't doing these kind of things, you know, you obviously didn't have you know, the bigger stats. But if you did that stuff, if you had orange equipment, if you have orange equipment enhanced, you were definitely going to be more powerful than the next guy. Your stats, if you hit somebody, you were going to hurt them. So don't tell me that, that banners changed everything. The only thing that banners did is it made it more accessible because it was really a pain in the butt to get 20 scrolls in order to upgrade one piece of equipment to plus five. Whereas banners and gems and things like this, it was just a straight purchase. There was there was no complication to it. It wasn't. It was completely accessible, and anybody could do it who had a checkbook. That was it. Just pow, done. One day you didn't have it. One day you did. Done. So there we go. I think I've rambled long enough, um, but I just wanted to say hi to you guys. So yeah, this is kind of my way of saying hi. And uh, trying to give you the best advice that I can because, I mean, let's be honest, 99% of everybody in the game gets bullied. You know, I mean, there's only like 1% of the spenders. So, I mean, if a million people are playing the game, there's like maybe a thousand people who are spending anything that makes any difference. And the rest of you guys, you know, all you can do is shield. You can either shield or take the hit because uh, the powerful guy is going to beat you. So, okay. Love you guys and bye-bye for now.